Hello everybody, my name is Mathis and welcome to Jalopy! Jalopy has been a game that I have kind of kept my eye on a little bit throughout its development all through Early Access. Uh, it's been in there for a couple of years. And my understanding is basically the idea is you're driving an old broken down car through 1960s kind of like Eastern European countries. Um, I, we'll, we'll find out the story I'm sure as we play. Uh, but the game is hitting 1.0 or has already hit 1.0 depending on when this video goes live. I wanted to check it out. Um, so, let's take a look at Jalopy and see what this is all about. Uh, a Grand Journey East. I can only click on these, that's options. So let's click on this. New game. Warning, starting a new game will erase your save data. Well, I don't, I don't have, I don't have save data, so sure. All right, sweet. We're loading. Yeah, I guess it's all about, and I guess it's kind of like a weird, it's like rogue light ish where Every run, you're supposed to get a little further and a little further and a little further. And uh, you're supposed to, like, repair your car as it goes around. Unde luf. Wake up. Oh. Wake up! Alright, I'm up. Gramps. Uh, wake finally. Mm, stay in bed any longer and the day will make fools of us both. Alright, I'm up. Whoa, your coat is gonna make me throw up. It's an interdimensional jacket. Come on now, I have something important to show you. Come on, come, it's, it's outside. All right, well, can I go out here? No. My character has a little momentum to him. Oh, what's this? Buy storage. Ooh, interesting, okay. I don't know that, so this is where like every run I do will be slightly different. All right, all right, interesting. This here is a light at 601 Deluxe. Something of an engineering legend in the GDR. Zero to 60 kilometers an hour in 22.5 seconds. A top speed of 100 kilometers per hour. All at the economical rate of 9 kilometers per liter. That is, if we can get her running. Not to worry, I have everything we need. You'll just need to build her an engine, slap on some wheels, fit the passenger side door, and give her a bit of a clean. So let's get started. First... The replacement door. It's over on top of that scrap pile behind you. Do you mean over there? If you squint, you'll be able to see it. I'm assuming this over here. So we can zoom in with a right click. Yeah. There's no jump, apparently. I don't know if I like that very much. Alright, I've got a door, Uncle Ludhoff. Boom, done! Less than elegant, but it's on. Right, now let's fit the engine. If you open the driver's side door, you'll see a black latch. Pull that and release the bonnet. All right. You see the black latch? I see this. It should be just under the steering wheel. Can I crouch? I can crouch. That is vomit inducing. That's not a black latch. That's it. You got it. It's like a, a beige latch. Now open it. There you go. So as you can see, she needs an engine. I've got a load of stock part set in the garage. Go collect one. You won't see. It does. Yep. Sounds good, Gramps. All right. Stock engine. Um, a small two-stroke. Okay. Thank you. Cool. I'm glad I got to read the part set in the garage. All right. Can I read this, please? Uh, comes with standard to all like a 601 Deluxe cars, and it's just the usual. All right. I got an engine. Stay alert. Hello, sir. Can I please? Can I just put this in? Poorly kept engine will mean your Leica will struggle to perform. Got it. Go ahead and drop it into the engine. There we go. I did it. Alright. Okay, I did it. Do you want me to go get some wheels? I guess we should just like start getting it up and running are you done telling me charge for your leica the battery allows you to use lights the radio the car ignition and that kind of thing if your leica won't start the first place to check is the battery go ahead drop it in the engine okay we got a battery up and running look at this i'm a i'm a real car man stock water tank sure in reality, I'm actually pretty garbage with cars. I've changed the oil and changed tires and actually changed my own brakes before, but that's the extent of it. I've never put an engine in. Water tank provides water to help you keep your uh, uh, windscreen clean from dirt. Good to keep it in condition or it'll start to leak water and you'll soon find yourself driving without any vision. Go ahead, drop it in the engine. There you go. All right. So now we know what all the parts do. Stock carburetor, stock air filter. How about we just get the ignition coil up and in there? 
I wish I could sprint. Uncle Ludhoff, I've got an ignition. Channels all electrical charge, start the engine. Bad condition may struggle to start the engine. Got it. Boom. Oh, where's it go? Over here. Boom. It's like, I could get three of them, it looks like. Interesting. Next. You know, let's get, oh, we can grab, oh, we can just grab everything? Hey, I got everything. The air filter isn't necessarily required to run your Leica, but it's a good idea to have one as it will reduce the rate of wear to your engine block. Sounds pretty necessary to me. Okay, big lump of metal is a fuel tank, which holds fuel. A few notes on this one. First of all, it's gravity fed, so you'll need to open the, the bonnet and fill directly to the tank when refueling. Oh, dang. Also, your Leica is running a two-stroke engine. That means you'll want to mix in some oil to the fuel mixture. Fail to mix oil into the fuel will mean the engine won't be lubricated and will wear at an increased rate. Too much oil, though, and you'll start to see performance drop. Keep your fuel tank well maintained. Let it get too beaten up, and it will start leaking fuel everywhere. Well, that sounds complicated. Right, that's the carburetor, which controls the fuel consumption of the car, which in turn controls how many kilometers per liter you get out of your car. Good, well maintained car means less fuel. Basically, just it's good to have this done. Okay, that's everything installed. Good job. Thanks, Uncle. Now fill her up. We're getting out of here. We can't, that should be a can of fuel, a bottle of water, and a two-stroke oil in the garage. We'll still need uh, petrol, oil, and water. Okay, we're going. <sighs> Good. That's a can of fuel you're holding there. If you use that on the fuel cap in the fuel tank we just installed, you begin fueling the car. Try holding it. Oh. Get that fuel in there, baby. Yeah, squirt it in. Go ahead and drop that if you're done with it. Bottle of water. Good job. If you use that water tank we saw, you fill her with water. Where? Here? Alright. All right, get rid of that. We're going to put this in the fuel. A lean mixture will result in faster car, but with increased wear to the engine. A rich mix will result in the opposite. Try using it on the full tank of fuel to affect the fuel mixture. Alright, I'd like to, but you need to give me the okay. Uh, I'm not done with it? Huh? Somebody coming? Alright, we're done, I guess. Let's move on to the tires. Okay, let's go about getting some tires in the car. See, the key won't get very far without any wheels. There's a car jack in the garage, bring it over and let's get started. Hell yeah, Gramps, let's go. How about I grab everything? Jack. All right, well, two tires and a car jack, let's go. All right. To fit the road tires, go ahead and drop that. Road tire to the axle. Tighten the bolt with a tire iron. Sure. All right. Oh, wait, what? Do you want me to do it over here? Why is this not? All right, let's just drop that for now, I guess. There we go. No, 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 there you go. Here, drop that. Wait, where's my tire iron? Tire iron? Hello? Oh, there it is. Got it. No! No! Come on! God. Why is it going over there? There we go. You can now drop the car jack on the other side. Got it. Thank you. Uncle, you could help me, like, a tiny bit. The weird, like, momentum that this, this character has actually makes it a little bit more difficult than I would like. Come on. Can I just put them both on ahead of time? 
There we go. Excuse me, uncle. I'll be in the car. You may want to load the trunk with any spares left over in the garage. You can never be sure what's on the road. All right. How about I drop that in there? Okay, that didn't work out so well. No? There we go. All right. What do we got, Uncle? Any spares? Not really. Juggling as easy as one, two, three. Cool, so I can just, like, hotkey my, myself around here. Uncle, there ain't no spares literally anywhere. Ooh. Nothing. Well. Hello. We're turning off the light. I gotta save electricity. All right, Uncle. Let's let's hit the road, fam. Uh. I'm gonna grab pretty much all of this and just take it with me. I don't know if I'll need it, but I sure as hell don't want to leave it behind. Okay. Oh. Definitely want the oil. Okay. Anything else? This looks like, you know, I could probably rip all this for parts at some point. Alright, well, let's go, Uncle. Okay, before we set off, let's get you familiar with some of the important companions. Hell yeah, dude. Here we have maintenance manual. It will cover the basics of running the car. Great, thanks. In there you'll find information regarding a basic overview of the like of vehicle, details of your current engine setup, listings of cargo we're currently carrying, that sort of thing. You can turn the page by selecting the top corners of each page. Got it. Where's my mouse though? Oh, it's so hard to see. 1907 Soviet Union showing great strength, ambition, and perseverance launched the first being into orbit in Earth space. Blah, blah. We'll have a look through this later. For now, go ahead and drop that. All right, well, there you go. Next step, you'll need the map. Do you got the map, Gramps? How about your wallet? Oh, I took your wallet, Grandpa. And your passport, I guess? Here, I'll put those back. Give me that. This one is important as it allows you to select which route uh, you'll be taking between each destination. Ooh, okay. Route one, route two, route three. As you can see, our first destination is the CSF CSFR border crossing near Dresden. I've marked all the potential routes I know of, including weather conditions and any stop-off points along the route. Go ahead and select one now. Um, gas, good and good weather, and I don't know what that is, what that means there. So why don't we go with good weather and gas? Let's just go with route number one. He's talking, but the game is freezing, I think. There it is. Once a route has been selected, we're then committed to driving it. And again, you can turn pages by selecting the top corners. The other pages include your statistic tracking unlocks tracking. So let's take a look. You can have a look through that later. Go ahead and drop that for now. All right, well, thanks, Gramps. Put that right in there. And finally, the keys. Just pop in the engine, and she's all yours. All right, let's, let's shut the door. No? Can I not? Let's go ahead and shut that. Oh yeah! Oh, I emergency braked it. Down we go, Uncle. We should we should seatbelt, man. Throw your seatbelt on. But up, 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 I'm driving it. So begins our journey. It does. All right, head towards Dresden. No problem, Gramps. We'll be traveling the autobahns for the first part. This should give you a chance to get to the grips of the Leica. Alright. It's a beautiful day. How you doing, dude? How's things? Oh, listen to listen to the engine purr. Like a dying 19-year-old house cat. There's no, you know, I can't look in the mirror, so I guess it doesn't matter what part of the road I'm driving on here. Lines don't matter. I do wonder if we'll see other cars at any point. But um uh Driving down the street. I just want to see if I can go in that door. Alright, well, the door is interactable. Which is cool. And I... 
I do like that there's a, uh, a little, a few steps to having to do a bunch of things, like, um, turning the car on, and, and it's, you gotta, like, put the brake on, and turn the engine off. Like, I like that the, ga the game lets you do that. Ring. You got anything to say, you weird fucking dressing old man? Where, what dimension are you from? Almost grind up against the rail because I got distracted by your dashing jacket. I heard a beep, but I saw no car. And it wasn't me. Uh, that was a wonderful tank. I hear another car. Hey, another car! See ya! Hell yeah, alright. Finally. There are people on this road other than me. You know, it's a curious feeling. Being on the road again after such a long time. All those years in the GDR. Well. You win some, you lose some, I guess. You're not driving, though. You're just kind of enjoying the ride. And I'm not exactly the greatest driver in the world, I'm not gonna lie. Though in real life, I've never been in an accident. 32 years of life, man, and I have still never been in an accident. What's happening? Hang on, hang on. What the hell's happening to the back... My back windshield, man. It's a mess. Hey, I'm sorry. Don't hit me. Don't be a dick. I'll, I'll swap lanes. My jalopy ain't as what you know as good as your sweet car. It takes a while to kick up. I wonder if those potholes actually do anything when I run them over because it doesn't. There's no feedback. I know I wasn't born here, or there, but I found a belonging I've not experienced at any other time in my life. Being one of the people, like a family all working together for each other. Where I'm from, that was uncommon. Is that a fire going on over there? What's going on? That is, like, smoke. Oh, man. This car is struggling right now. Oh, God, what is going on? Is it because we're going up a hill? I'm sorry, Gramps. I don't have the brake on, right? Uh, I should have picked up a little bit more speed. No, it's like a building. Oh, it's like a power plant. Got it. Down we go. Wee! We're picking up speed finally. Maybe. Maybe not. It's like Euro truck, like Euro truck sim, but uglier. I wonder if there's really going to be any challenge to the game. Ooh, I went right around. You know, I wonder if there's anything other than just kind of driving in a straight line until you come across a gas station or something. Well, with the wall down, it shouldn't be long until we see reunif uh, reunification. A, little separ a literal separation of people for what has it been? 29 years? Yes, 29 years. Oh my, how much people must have changed. Ooh, that's a box. Can I put on my hazards? No. Don't hit me! I'll take the box. Or not. Alright, never mind. Sorry, Uncle. I just saw a box and I'm just like, I play a lot of video games. All right, we're off, we're off, don't worry. I just like to check if there's any kittens in those boxes, you know what I'm saying? Make sure no kittens are being left on the middle of the street. Kinda like... I can't click on that button on the side.
I was hoping that was going to clean, like, the back window. It did not. We didn't think the division would ever escalate to what it did. But it did practically overnight. Well, Gramps, right now I'm just trying to figure out where the hell I'm supposed to go. Oh, we're going down. Hell yeah. Woo. Let gravity do her work, baby. Is my car smoking? Is my car about to catch on fire right now? We can't... We can get to a petrol station if we turn off here. Alright. It would be a good idea to stop for fuel. Sure. I think I just got hit? I don't know. Why is my car smoking? Alright. Well, what's happening with my car? Oh, it needs so many repairs. How do I repair it? Everything's smoking. Hello? Hey there, you look a little lost. Or no, hey there, you look a little lost. Just pick whatever you need off the shelves and place it through the window. When you have everything you need, you can pay by using your wallet. Well, I need a wallet. Gramps, uncle, whatever your name is, just... Thank you. Alright. Let's see. Do you got, like... Oil. Fuel can. Let's grab that. Let's grab an engine repair kit. I think we're good, I guess. Thanks. I don't, I mean, uh, we'll just, we'll refuel, I guess. All right. Wait, I have to get fuel? Hang on. Where'd it go? Where'd my fuel go? God damn it. Uncle. Hey. No. I need to... Wait, where'd my engine repair kit go? Did I do it wrong? Okay. There we go. It's gonna refuel, don't worry about me. We'll get a, we'll get a little, a little clean back here. Here, close that for now. Hey, uncle. I, sh I blocked myself out a little bit weirdly. All right, well, fuck the sponge. Uh, hang on, uncle. Give me the wallet, please. Thank you. I'm gonna buy an engine repair kit now, as I said. can pull that lever to cancel the transaction. Huh? Damn it. Why is my wallet, like, when I drop things, why does it teleport all the way over here? Ugh. What did I buy? Uh, that's what I, there you go. Right, take that. I probably paid for the oil or something, or the gas.
No, no. There we go. Hey, hey! All right, you take this. No. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I'm coming. Sorry, that was, this is very confusing. All right, we gotta back up. How's it going? We're up. Oh, don't don't mind me. Uh. Whoop. Sorry. Sorry. This is kind of a weird driving thing. All right, we're gonna back up. Thank God our backing up takes a hundred years. All right. Oof. Yeah. Well. Not everything can be smooth driving. Stop saying oof. Yeah, you're fine. All right. Back on the road again, Uncle Ludhoff. Whoop, 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 whoop. The door, Uncle, Uncle, shut the door, Uncle, Uncle. Okay, I got you, thank you. No problem. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Keeping this jalopy running smooth. Gonna head out of here. How about you? Whoop. Don't get mad at me. Go around, you dips. Here, I'll get. A, I'll go over here. Listen, the jalopy doesn't go very fast, man. There's a radio. Whoop! Isn't it loud enough? There you go. Sorry, Uncle Ludhoff. Hell yeah, dude. What's this? This is great. One thing it taught me. No good comes from involving yourself in political opposition. Life becomes much more bearable when you accept the flow of things. I disagree. I've seen too many people become pawns of extremist ideals. While, while I agree with... Oh, sorry. While I agree with you... Um... You know. Stand up for what you believe in. This music is terrible, but in the best way. Down we go. Well. Should I turn my lights on? Can I like, get pulled over if I don't have my lights on? I do wish the mirrors worked. That would be ideal. How are we looking, Uncle? I'd like to look at the map to see where we are, but... Dresden's ahead. Oh, good. Oh, we gotta go this way. Let's head to the motel. We'll have access to border tomorrow. Alright. Well, I don't know where the motel is, Uncle. Uncle Ludhoff. Hey, this... I think he said something in inter inter the international program in Dutch or something. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, the motel's straight ahead. Do I have to, like, obey street signs? I feel like the game might make me obey street signs. Park outside in the front. And the one parking spot just for us. Okay. Well... I can't take the key out. I feel like that's really... It's really dangerous to leave the key in there, Uncle. Uncle. Alright, well, I guess screw my opinion. Welcome, will you be staying with us tonight? It's 20 for the room. Oh, God damn it. Cramps. Uncle, I don't know. Well, whatever you are, man. Just... <sighs> hey there. There you go. 2A on the second floor. We kindly ask you not to disturb the other guests during your stay. No promises. Can I please take the key? 2A on the second floor. 
Just like, knock, knock, bitch. We probably shouldn't do that right now. Whoop. I, all right, it's gone. Can I take my key back? No? All right. Good night. I, you're going to sleep in... Whoa. Wait, what? Berlin, 1989. The state denial. Werther General Lutfi. In response to your request for acquisition of one like a 6-1 motor vehicle for the purposes of transportation for personal property returned to the, their country of origin place in the date of 12-2-1986, we can inform you that we are unable to approve or support this request on the grounds that government vehicles are not to be used in transportation or private property, especially in countries outside of the fraternal socialist observation. Furthermore, we are compelled to remind you that all communications with countries outside the state sphere of influence are thoroughly monitored and as such we must ask all comrades exercise constant vigilance with regards to any delicate information they may have the f they may find themselves in possession of oh boy well then how can we have this car all right gramps i'm going to bed good night sir day one dresden dresden Good morning, Grandpa. Uncle? God damn it. You're gone! He left. Alright. Well, I'm gonna stop here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more, let me know. If not, I'll have the link in the description below for you guys to check out the game for yourself. It is out officially out of early access. Uh, and so far, I kind of like it. I like, you know, the simulation aspects of, like, driving the car and stuff is really fun. And the story's a little interesting, at least, to get to going. And I'd be curious to see where the roguelite, like, how... How the game operates with getting better parts and all that other stuff. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more, you have to let me know in the comment section below and by hitting the like button. If you enjoyed this and you want more just like this, subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. As always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.